What's up, boy Meg Cisco? It is episode 102. We're here in Singapore, official kind of day one. It's sunny out there. We're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Got my Go Plus, ready to go. Just like the mission today, right now, is to go get some Wi Fi units for me. This is in like one Wi Fi unit. And just explore the public transportation system here in Singapore. So, all let's go. The orange juice machine, vending machine. This is wild. We ran to this group and now we're doing a Latios raid. What up? <laughs> yeah. Alright, just want to let you know, YouTube, that's Jojo and she is feeding us snacks all the whole 16 hour flight. She was like, here, are you hungry? Here's some wasabi. I got some in my eye. I don't know how. But she was giving chocolates and more chocolates and Cheeto. che Cheetos that I didn't get a piece of, but it's all good in the hood. We're here in Singapore about to do a Latios raid. Yes. And... Nope. Boring. <laughs> Alright, so we luck into just another random Latios raid. Luckily you can just hop in and people are here somewhere. Hiding. Playing Pokemon. But yeah, we're in front of a mall. In right in front of our... MRT station, so we're about to start our journey and get this Latios. What up? All right, mission success. I got my Wi Fi unit. I went on this website called kluk.com, K L O O K.com, and reserved it and picked it up at one of the Chengi Recommends booths in Terminal 1. Terminal 1 Chengi Recommends. So if you ever come to Singapore and want to play Pokemon Go and your phone happens to be locked, that's the way to go. And it's pretty cheap, about 10 Singaporean dollars a day. That's about seven US bucks a day. So mission accomplished. And then we're gonna go check out this garden over here. You can't really see it, but it's there. And there's a Pokemon Center here in the airport. So yeah, boy. <laughs> so we made it in the Pokemon store and check it out. Labrys is looking back at it. Look back at it. <laughs> oh, my favorite. I gotta get one of these. Crap, it's 24 Singaporean dollars. Whatever. About it. Look back at it. Look back at it. I love this all. <laughs> I just want to let you know it's in Pokemon Center. They have all 151 Pokemon in plush form here. Every single original 151. This is amazing. Wow. <laughs> yes, let's go get it. And I have like zero dollars to spend, but hey, a man can dream, right? So, okay, so our adventure at the airport was awesome. Pokemon stuff, but we're here for some food. We're on the Chinatown. Right now it looks very much Touristy and gifty, but soon we're gonna get some food because we got some snacks earlier. You know, just to tide us over so we don't make any crazy mistakes. But right now, snacks and a lot of souvenirs. I'm supposed to get a glass for somebody, so good thing that we know this is here. But it's really hot. It's really humid. We just came from like crazy air conditioning and. I just want to make sure that I don't melt. I don't want to melt, but it's beautiful. A lot of tourists, very, very diverse here. So, but enjoy. I'm gonna go get some food. Okay, so we took a little break. We got some beef noodle soup, new friends, and a Shaolong Bao from a local hawker stand here in one of the Chinatown uh, food streets. So. It's bottled, we got some vinegar, it's gonna go with that. But because there's soup inside a dumpling and it just came out, it's gonna be hot. So everything in this country is hot, it's just hot. But it's gonna be good. So. Mm. Alright, so we're at Newton. It is 12 something midnight. Naps were taken. Decisions were made. But here is where they had the infamous, well not so infamous, but like a small food scene 
in Crazy Rich Asians. So we're gonna go check it out and show you about the food culture here. Yeah! Yo, know what's up? We are here at Noon Food Center and Late Night Goodies. We have excellent energy here. It's truly late night and it's about midnight-ish. Uh, there's a poke stop here. A lot of buneries because it's egg time. Tomorrow is Good Friday here in Asia. So, that being said, I kind of want eggs, but I kind of want something that I haven't had or it's very uniquely Singaporean. Again, they had uh, crazy rich Asians here, so you know, I'm trying to feel, trying to feel the energy. And we're gonna go on the outside, check it out, and yeah, see that? Not shiny. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so okay, so we made a decision here. We wanted to get some uh, sambal stingray. Every time I eat stingray, I think, "What up, Steve Irvin?" Oh my gosh, I can't even say his name right. Steve Irwin, this is for you. We're eating a stingray that killed you. So. Yeah, barbecue stingray with a sambal on top, and that's item number one for this road trip. But each stall here specializes in like one or two things, and you can't even get drinks unless it's a specialized drink stall. And these stalls have been doing this for a long time. The Simpson Barbecue Seafood, they've been doing this. They've been the first popper stand to do stingray, so that's some good history here. But we're looking at saute, the skewered stuff, and hopefully we find something else that goes with it. They told us it'll get ready in 10 minutes and we'll come back for that. Yo, what's up? This is it. We found um, at least four different stands here. We still have to go to another stand for drinks. This is Indian food. We got butter chicken, naan, cheese naan. We got saute, we got mutton and beef. I don't know what this is, but it looks like vegetables and we need some vegetables in our lives. And this is stingray uh, with sambal on top. Sambal is like a spicy Singaporean. My friend Tasha usually cooked this for me and I don't know how she made it, but it was just delicious. But without the stingray. We put the calamansi. This is calamansi. It's like a Asian lemon citrus remix. But they it's only grown here. And we spray it all there and voila. One of the best food stands here in all of Singapore, and we're here late night, and we get a drink after this. Thank you for enjoying our adventures today. It's your boy Meg Cisco. As always, be excellent, and see you next time. Bon appetit.